Hello Spirit Family, welcome back. For those who are new, this is Spiritual Findings with a Gypsy Soul. I am your Gypsy, Vera Lynn, and today we're going to be doing a general reading for my Aries for July 2019. When I say general reading, this is going to cover your love, your career, your soul story, kind of get a feel on what's going on for July. I do a lot of live streams. If you guys would go ahead and subscribe and more importantly, hit that notification bell. You can tune in for a live stream and get yourself a free reading when I have those opportunities. I'm very excited to do your reading here. I'm off grid. I'm connected with Mother Nature. I have my shoes off on some really nice, luscious moss. Off grid, no electricity, no cell phone service, no running water. Um, it is just very nice to be out here and I feel like your reading will be a little bit more in depth because I'm just, you know, so in tuned, you know, my insight's a little better here when I'm just out grounding. You might even get yourself a spirit animal too. I know last year when I did the off-grid readings, you know, crows and woodpeckers and butterflies made appearances in some of the videos. So I'm kind of excited to see what, what's going on. Starting your video, there's been a lot of big gusts of wind so perhaps Aries there's something that you need to let go and I can even see you know more wind down the mountain slowly coming as I'm talking about it so there's something that you need to let go like the wind okay just kind of go with the flow and whatever it is that's no longer serving you let it go Aries okay you can hear it start to see the breeze all along starting your video Aries okay Maybe you need to put a little wind on your, you know, your fire, your passions, you know, are you starting a new career, education? Maybe you need to get excited about it again, Aries. I love doing these outdoor readings because I love using the tarot. I love getting the wisdom from the tarot, but also, you know, the animals that appear, you know, how the sunlight is, the wind. I also take that into a part of your reading. Some of these readings I will be doing by the streams. You guys, I felt on top of this mountain, I'm literally on top of a mountain, it's breeze here. So I feel like there's something that you need to let go and start your passions again, okay? Kind of ignite that fire with this strong gust of wind. Okay, Aries? All right, so that was my little ramble. <laughs> I wanted to mention that there is a few things going on in July. I always like to go over the planets and the signs. We have something that's different from every month is we have a solar eclipse and a lunar eclipse. Okay, on July 2nd, we have a solar eclipse in Cancer. All right, and on July 16th, we have a lunar eclipse in Capricorn. Okay. So, you're going to have that. Your ruling planet, Mars, will be going into Leo on the 1st. So, with having that, Leo is a very passionate sign, okay? They're very dramatic with how they do things. They need the limelight. So, maybe you need to take on the characteristics of that, okay? Your more masculine ruling sign, making sure that you're a little bit more dramatic and needing the attention that you desire to really... Deal with the situation at hand. Deal with the problem at hand, okay? Get your career started or whatever it might be to control your family, your love life, your education. Get it started, guys. Okay, so I'm going to read from the original Rider Weight deck here. I have angels and fairies in front of you. I love this little setup with all my crystals. You know, currently I have a tree shade here on some of them. But it's all right, let's roll with it. Okay. Alright. I'm not sure what type of bird that is. But it may be your spirit animal. It flew into the, a couple trees behind me. I can't see it, but you can definitely hear it. I know you guys heard that one. Alright, so let's get started. Alright. Sorry, I'm kind of out here. I set up my own little table. I'm surprised I got the table to be level out here on the mountain. <laughs> my chair, it's a little uncomfortable, but I'm telling you, I love the outdoor grounding. Maybe some of you guys need to take off your shoes and go camping, okay? This is a very laid back reading too. I feel very calm. 
So I'm kind of taking on your attitude, some of your attitudes. Maybe some of you guys need to start feeling calm or maybe some of you guys are even too calm to really deal with the situation. That's why the wind's pick. Like, yeah, like the wind is picking up right now as I'm talking about it. So maybe we're a little bit too calm when it comes to a situation that you really need to change, Aries. Relationship, toxic ex, where you live. Maybe you're just totally stagnant in where you live, dead end career. Something needs to change, Aries. Put that wind to that fire. Okay. All right. Move some of these cards aside. Kind of feeling maybe one from the one from the angels and from the fairies for you guys. That's what I'm feeling so far. But let's get through the original what right original <laughs> rider weight deck. Okay, something's speaking to me. I feel this one. Alright, All right, these one talk to. A lot of messages here, Aries. In my mind, I was just going to pull four cards, but this is what you got going on. Alright, very interesting. Okay. Oh, wow. Alright. So you start off with the Ten of Cups, and then you move to the Chariot. King of Cups to Knight of Pentacles. And then down here, these are the cards that wanted to just, they were just kept slipping out of the deck. They were like, no, you gotta take me, you gotta take me. You have the Ten of Wands, you have the Six of Swords, you have the Eight of Cups, and you have the World card. Okay. So I'm feeling like maybe where you guys are you know kind of feeling like a little bit taking a rest maybe not really diving into your passions taking a break from your projects whatever it might be addressing your love life just taking a break it's because you feel comfortable okay with the ten of cups here you can see it's a very beautiful card you guys are very comfortable where you at where you are at right now okay raising the kids maybe you just don't want to change things that way it's just a little too comfortable to kind of push forward you have the chariot card which is telling me you're being pulled in two different directions, okay? You, you want to take the feminine approach, but you also kind of want to stick by your masculine, passionate, fire side, okay? Because you guys are ruled by Mars, okay? So very masculine sign Aries is. So maybe you kind of want to blend the two together, find a really good balance, followed by the King of Cups. So I'm, I'm thinking that you definitely need to kind of take charge of your emotions, or maybe there's some people in your life that are too emotional for you, a little bit too clingy. Maybe your kids are just really <laughs> leeching you dry. Whatever it is, you need to kind of find things to balance for things. The Knight of Pentacles. So I'm seeing for people who are watching this for a career side, you will be getting a promotion. And I know with, um, I believe it was a solar eclipse in Cancer, that does bring a lot of things regarding the family and finances too, as well as the lunar eclipse in Capricorn. Capricorn, you know, is ruled by Saturn, which is very disciplined. So you're also going to get your responsibilities together too this month. It might cause a lot of problems. It might cause a lot of tensions between everybody because things are changing and people you know like to kind of stick in their ways maybe that's you too Aries but we need to move on okay the ten of wands here I'm seeing that you're carrying a lot of issues okay maybe past trauma maybe just too many bills too many responsibilities too many things to do you know drop off this pick up that you know every day you need to take more of a break so if you're taking on more like say you know you're in school you have a job you have kids you're married or whatever it is you're just taking too much on just make sure if it is things that you don't want to like you could see that he just has a big load here and he is not letting go of any of them he has a tight grasp on them however you could see that it's affecting his body posture okay he's almost at his goal so if you're if you're taking too many things on and you don't want to really part with anything just make sure that you're taking care of yourself you're taking the right steps you're not going to fumble and fall before you reach your destination okay I think I had something bit me <laughs> yeah people are biting at you I guess right Aries I even took that into counter. All right, so you have the Six of Swords. Okay. You're almost there. 
You went through something really rough recently, which is probably why you want to rest. You have every right to, but don't forget your passions. Don't forget your destination. Okay. It's right out there. You just have to keep trucking along. You know, this is you. You're keeping your family afloat. The current isn't too far and you can see the land is right there. All right, Aries. So don't forget your goal that you set in front of you. All right. There definitely, I feel, is something that you need to walk away from. From For some of you guys who are in that toxic relationship, cut ties. Dead end career, find a new one. Find a new one that makes you more passionate and they see you for the true asset that you really are, Aries. Okay? You know, make sure to put in your two weeks. Don't be crazy and just burn all ties, Aries. Do everything in good karma. Okay? And then one of the best things that I love about your reading here, Aries, is you start off with the Ten of Cups and you end with the World Card, World Card, which is, in my mind, these are two of one, one of the best cards that you could possibly get in your reading. Ending with the World Card, it's just showing me that everything's kind of coming together with um, the goal that you're seeking. Okay, relationship wise, you know, finding a new one, maybe trying to rekindle your marriage, whatever it might be, Aries, you're going to get it. Okay, there's just a couple steps that you have to take. All right, you have to choose which direction, pick your battles. Okay, balance the emotions, you know, maybe get your finances a little bit in order, as well as, you know, write off what, what it is that you're willing to let go and, you know, what are your responsibilities that you really care about. Okay, make sure you're aware of. What is kind of keeping you behind and what is pushing you forward, okay? Just keep everything afloat. Leave away those bad changes and you're ending with the world card. Aries, whatever it is that you're manifesting, you're going to get there, okay? Just take those appropriate steps, all right? All right, guys, this pretty much sums up our reading. I wanted to pick one from the angels or the fairies, but I'm feeling like this is kind of set. You know, I'll pull one from the fairies right now just because I know that's quick, cute, Maybe some inspiration for some of you guys. I love these cards. Because we're out in nature, right? I know you guys are fire sign, but we're on the mountain today. Fairies represent Earth, so we're going to pull one from, from the fairies here. Let's see what they got to say for my Aries. Whom do you need to forgive? As you release old anger or resentment, you will find that your wishes will come true. Aries, come on, that's so, just, just, that just sums up your reading there. I mean, you start off with having to, you're gonna have to give and, give and take. You're gonna have to forgive people, you're going to have to let things go that you can't completely control, which I know is hard for my Aries. Okay, you guys like to be in charge. And, you know, sometimes you guys are the cheerleader that we all need, but sometimes you just need to let it go, Aries, and that's okay. If it's a relationship that you've been trying to make work, let it go, okay? Forgive yourself. Maybe it's not just somebody you need to forgive. Maybe you need to forgive yourself. And let me zoom in on this card because that is a beautiful card. The breeze is picking up, Aries. All right, so it's just telling me that this card you have to follow it, okay? Forgive yourself, forgive other people. You know, don't be resentful. Don't hold a grudge. It takes a lot of energy to hate somebody, okay? And you need to put that energy towards making you and your family bigger and better, okay? Stronger, better foundation. That's where you need to put your energy towards, okay? I love that card. All right, I will be zooming in up on some of the cards. I also forgot to say, uh, I'm so in tuned with nature here and getting you your messages that we have a giveaway. Any of you guys who share this channel, subscribe and um, share social media. It could be Facebook, Instagram, whatever it is. You know, I'm not too tech savvy guys, so I don't have all those pages to get my channel out there. So I have a giveaway. I'll post a picture of the giveaway box at the end of the reading. It has like a salt lamp, your own tarot deck, tapestry, incense, sage, all kinds of goodies in there. So all you have to do is share, subscribe, like, and you know comment below that you've done that i only have like 10 people on the list the giveaway is july 31st at 9 p.m eastern time i'll be doing it during a live reading so even if you don't get the giveaway box you still might be able to get yourself a free reading all right while we wait till we do the drawing 
Alright guys, I hope to see you for some of the live streams as well as, you know, subscribe and comment below. I'm, I'm really quick to, you know, chat with you guys. I love hearing from where you guys are from. This channel is international, so it really warms my heart to hear from you guys. Alright, thanks for tuning in. This is Spiritual Findings with a Gypsy Soul. I am your Gypsy, Beryl Lynn. You guys have a beautiful July.